the Pogues at the Edinburgh Players in 1991. It was amazing, but um, Shane wasn't singing for them that tour, Joe Strummer sang. I was 14, I didn't know who Joe Strummer was. So I was initially disappointed, but then it was kind of amazing because they were doing Clash songs and yeah, so that was the first gig I went to. It was the Damned, classic punk rockers, who I saw recently actually, again, and they're still on fire. Um, so yeah, I was 12 years old, it was um, Edinburgh Playhouse, a total life-changing gig. The support band were an American garage band called the Fuzz Tones. Um, the Edinburgh Punks threw bottles at them. They carried on playing. Uh, and then the Damned came on. The, the stage was um, dressed as a graveyard. Um, Rat Scabies, the drummer, set fire to the cymbals. Um, it was utterly astounding and life-changing. Culture was a reggae band at the Usher Hall on my 18th birthday. The first concert I remember going to uh, in a slightly more rebellious state of mind when I was 16 would be uh, Gene Vincent and Eddie Cochran at the Glasgow Empire in 1960. It was mud and I got a badge that said mud on the road which was like a, it's a double meaning mud on the road and mud on the road and I thought it was the most exciting night of my life up to that point and I was like that's what I want to do. It was kind of embarrassing. The first gig I ever went to was um, Bartley James Harvest at the Usher Hall in Edinburgh and I really didn't know who they were. I knew they were kind of proggy and a mate of mine had got a ticket. It was very exciting because I lived in Carden Den, so I had to get to his house in Cowden Beath, then we had to get the train through to Edinburgh, see the gig, buy the programme, buy the poster and then leave before the encore so we could get the last train back to Cowden Beath where I had to sleep the night on his floor because I couldn't get back to Carden Den.